people think, yeah, man, like when you get out there, you're going to leave God. Mm -mm, yeah. I'm not trying to leave God when I get out there. If anything, I'll be like, God, oh, where you at, brother? You got me out here in the middle of the ocean. I can't sink now. Right. What are some of the Christian myths? What are some of the faith-based myths about money that you've came to demystify yourself in this journey? Yeah, I mean, now being where we are today, yeah. you know, um, employing, you know, over you know, 20 people nice. full time, um, nice. benefits, the whole nine, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And being able to now, you know, have it where I would say we're at the point where, um, you know, our net worth is at a place where I don't have to struggle or stress about the, 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 how it's, how it's going to come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My goal and my, my perspective is now how to, how to go get more. Sure. versus trying to stabilize my yeah. home. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. I'm not worried about how our bills are going to get paid and yeah. how we're going to get this yeah. thing and get that. I'm, I'm content. Yeah. And so for me, the myth is that you get to a point to where it's not enough. That's what people think. Yeah. They think once yeah. you start having it, you'll never be satisfied. Yeah, yeah. And I have a lot, yeah. and I can say I'm satisfied. I, I look mm. at my car, I'm grateful for my car, and I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm good. Like, I yeah. may want a sports car sometime soon, yeah. but I'm content. My house, I love my house. Now we're gonna get it one week on the Dallas, but I'm not sitting out here and like, I'm, if I don't get that sports car in 30 days, I'm not gonna be happy. If I don't get that million dollar home. So my myth number one is that they're, they're, that once you start making money, you'll never want to stop making money. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. It's very different. When you yeah. do it with the right purpose and heart in mind, mm -hmm. you become content with your stuff. Yeah. And you become more driven and more motivated to go figure out how to make the world a better place. So I believe you need to learn how to make enough money to where you don't care about yeah. making money. You need to get to a place where you can make and have enough to where you're not worried about how to pay that next paycheck or get that next bill paid. You've gotten so much to where you're forced to figure out how in the world am I going to use all this money God has given me? Because if I, I just, by the way, I just Googled because I love the study of words. Because the original text of which the Old Testament and New Testament are written in Hebrew and in Greek convert into English. And you know there's a lot of things lost in translation. Yeah, absolutely. And oftentimes I see words that are lost in translation when it's converted to English. Yeah. And, I, and I go back to etymology. And I, the, something that has never sat in my spirit well with that word content. Yeah. So I just go with the etymology. Right? And it comes from a, a, a Latin world word from, you know, uh, 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 literally, to be held or contained within limits. Mm. Does God want you to be held or contained within limits? Not at all. So why should we, why should we even use the word content? Mm -hmm. So I think, there's a, I think there's another yeah. word in Greek. I love that. I love so, that. You know, uh, you know, I, you know, I don't want to be stuck. The, the, the definition of an entrepreneur is to take risk, yes. not to be held in contentment or within limitations. I think, the, I think when you look at it from a place of, it's, it's contentment from a place of, I am good with this current level, this current status, yeah. in regards to I'm not out here where my life can't continue on if I don't get more. And what I'm saying is, is I've gotten to a place, I know what it was like where I was like, we're not going to make it if we don't make a right. money this month or right. this week. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're not right. gonna, and all I'm focusing on is the present. Yeah. But we get to a place where we're grateful, and I do believe there's a better word. Yeah. I absolutely agree with you. Because I think nowhere does God want us limited. Yeah. But we do get to a place where we're satisfied with what we currently have mm. to where we take our focus off of us yeah. and we look it out to the world. Yeah. And I don't, I, I don't know what word to use for that. But we got to fight it. <laughs> but that's, yeah. that's the, the, the yeah. concept where how can you have so much money to yeah. where you get to the place where you don't, you're not looking at just your, how do I get my mom a better house? Or yeah. how do I get my family off a of well? No, 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 no. You're, you've gone beyond. Your family's taken care of. Your family's family's taken care of. Yeah. Now you're starting to look about. Yeah. And that's where I think the, the wealthy mindset comes from. That's myth number one. Yeah. I think myth number two definitely comes from the place of this, um, like being the season that we're in now, mm -hmm. it is this fear that you will get taken over by money once you have money, right? This, the topic of the rich young ruler, right? We see these sure. different stories where it's like God calls them out, yeah. give all your money away. I got, I can't. Well, that yeah. shows you don't love me, right? You ain't going to, right, right. For me, the myth is, is that the more money you make, the harder your relationship with God becomes. I believe it's absolutely false. I believe the more money you make, the more I need God. The more money you make, yeah. the more I need to lean on Lord, God. I paid 10 employees, now I gotta pay 100 employees. Well, where, where's the money gonna come from? I need God, you more. Come on, God. I need you now even more. You've got me out here, God. Yeah. Come on. I got a $100,000 a month payroll, God. 
Father, I got people that I got family. And you gave this to me. me. You get you opened the door. You gave me <laughs> access to this. Yeah. So God so yeah. if anything, to me, the more money you make, the more reliant I become on him. Yeah. Yeah. Because I started with him. Yeah. And I need to stay with him. And so most people think, yeah, man, like when you get out there, you're gonna leave God. Mm -mm, yeah. I'm not trying to leave God when I get out there. If anything, I'll be like, God, where you at, brother? You got me out here in the middle of the ocean. I can't sink now. That's right. I'm doubling down. Yeah. So I'm doubling down. Yeah. So sorry to scream. But uh, oh, so I will say that's another big myth is that you will yeah. you will get to a place where you stop needing God or gotcha. depending on God. Do one more. One more myth. Myth number three. It's almost not a myth. It's almost a truth that you will need to be ready. I don't know what the myth is or the mm -hmm. false piece of it, but mm -hmm. I will say something I've learned having money is being ready to handle leeches. Um, and the myth, I guess, could be that um, you will be able to give money to your family and yeah. set everybody free, and you gotta be very careful because it's the closest ones to you that won't know how to use it the right way. Yeah. So I've had to set up boundaries and I had to set up certain parameters with my own family yeah. in regards to how we use it so I don't destroy them yeah. and destroy our relationship. I don't know if the myth is there, but there's a truth there. Well, I think the myth is uh, uh, I'm gonna take care of everybody when I get to a certain there level, right? There you go, Matt, right? come on, help me out. And, and so, the you, myth you, is you gotta get to a point where, hey, I'm gonna yeah. I'm get so blessed, Yeah. y'all, none of y'all gotta worry about nothing. Right. You don't want that. Because you, you don't actually, wanna become the savior for your family. Right, because. Because then you become God. Because you're well, correct, because you're, you're not the enabler, he's the enabler. Yes, sir. And matter of fact, you're the disabler if that's what you're thinking. Yes, sir. Because you now see so preaching. many people that you've disabled because you gave it to them and said, hey man, I put my skin in the game, you were, no, you were nowhere around, but because we grew up together and I, you feel like I owe you something? You know, people are coming up, your family comes out, old friends come out to work and they say, hey, well, I see you driving around this, you see how that, you have a, I see you on the, the interviews and then you owe me something. What do I owe you? I owe you an opportunity, but I don't owe you money. Yeah. I, I, I paid the price for this. You, you got to be so careful that you yeah. don't set your family up or people that you give money to for failure. Yeah. Because they did not attain or, yeah. like, for example, I'll give this is a true story. My sister at, my sister runs her own little business. She's like, Jamal, I need a business loan. And I said, I need a presentation. Sure. Treat I me need, like a bank. Treat me like a bank. Yeah, if I'm going to loan you money, yeah, I need you to walk me through exactly yeah. how this money's going to be used, yeah. exactly how you're going to get it back to me with interest. Because yeah. this is not, you're not asking me just for, I need help to pay my light bill. It's not 50 bucks. Yeah. No, this is going to something that's going to produce income. Yeah. And I absolutely am honored that you would come to me. Yeah. And I want to be able to help you because I know the bank is going to turn you down because yeah. you got bad credit. You got, I know they're not, <laughs> not going to believe in you. You don't fit in the specific box of the bank. But yeah. guess what? I believe in you. Yeah. But you got to prove to me why. So these, instead of just giving her the money and feeling bad and be like, you're my sister here, I'm forcing her to think. Yeah. And, I'm, and, and, and I'm also making it where, hey, you're gonna give me a little bit back too, yeah. more than what I gave you. Sure. So I'm putting pressure on you yeah. to go make this money back and you're gonna thank me at the end. Right. Yeah. And so I'm setting her up for success. Yeah. Not and, and it's a fair interest rate, not a shark interest no, rate, like a payday all. loan or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Because you go do that, yeah. and you're, you'll never get it. You'll never pay it back. Yeah. And yeah. they don't care about you. They will take you to court, sue you, and take all your money. <laughs> versus me, I'm gonna. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. these are the things that I do believe that we should do with our families. Yeah. Versus just thinking that we're gonna just give them money and make their lives better.